everyone welcome back to the channel I have a micro haul for you guys um, and I actually filmed this um, yesterday but I was just so pooped I was in a very wonky mindset so the haul was a little bit wonky you know the day was wonky the haul was wonky and I kind of want to refilm it again I'm feeling I'm still feeling a little bit wonky um, but I really wanted to just redo this haul for you guys so yeah um, yesterday I went to the West Hollywood or not the West Hollywood um, Melrose that um, area because I had a pottery class there and but before I went there I actually went to a metaphysical shop and I bought a few things not too much stuff I only bought like three items but so it's going to be a very micro haul today but these items um, super happy about them and um, yeah I want to show you guys what I got so First up, I've got this Oracle deck right here, and um, I I'm still like a very beginner when it comes to like reading tarot cards, so I find it easier for me to um, to read Oracle cards because it, I can just read it straight like. From the cheat uh, cheat sheet, because for oracle, I mean for tarot cards, you can't just read the booklet. It really depends on the situation. You know, if it's about like financial wealth or romantic wealth, um, or just like um, you know what's coming in the next seven days. You know, um, what's what changes are happening in your life. I find that a little bit difficult. Um, so I'm still learning but for now i love oracle cards because they're just much more easier for me as a beginner to read and i really love this one um i love the artwork of this i feel like this artwork really represents the wonkiness that's been going on in my life right now but i i really love it um and immediately opening up this deck so I previously used this. Um, I have one, I don't know if you can see it. I have one like on my desk over there. Oh yeah, and I'm sitting on the floor because my phone needs to charge, which is like a very bad time to film, but I, for some reason, really wanted to film right now. So yeah, um, anyways, um, I already like opened it and shuffled it, but right off the bat that, you know, I opened it, it gives me this card number 44 and it says your dreams are closer than you think ah! it's okay okay we're good we're good we're good um we're good man i i knew it i knew that was gonna happen Ugh. Do you just hate it when you have a gut feeling about something, but you just never listen to it? <laughs> or at least in this instance, I did. I was like, no, what? we'll be fine. Nope, other cards fell out, okay. But um, yeah, right off the bat, we have the number 44 card. And I'm pretty sure this is pretty straightforward, but I'm gonna read it just in case there's more like um, information on it. Right. So, 44, your dreams are closer than you think. City noise. Okay. Dream big, my baby. Set your sights on the sky. The impossible becomes possible every single day. Your hard work may feel like it's filling up a bottomless cup but it's not. Your dreams are closer than you think. So dream your sweet dreams. You'll be there before you know it. Ah! 
Okay, so I love this card. Um, so for further you guys who really don't know how to read tarot, I mean, I don't really know how to read tarot either or oracle cards, but you know, there's this, in this artwork you see, ah, okay, no, we're not falling again. You know what? You know what? We're gonna pick it up like civilized people. Okay. Um, so you can see there's this cup and it's just overflowing with like, with substance. It's overflowing. And when you have an overfilled cup, that's, this is a really a good sign. This is a good sign. This means that your cup is being um, filled and it's overflowing. There's like an you know, overflow of abundance and you can see this person reaching up uh, to grab this cup. Um, and you kind of see the cup is like not quite there, but it's super close. So yeah, if you guys need a little bit reminder, if you guys are just working and working and you're just like, why am I not reaching? You know this dream of, or this goal of mine just keep going and believe that your dreams are super super close it's so within your reach and just have patience and just believe in yourself and it will come and this is actually so i actually drew a uh, number 43 the card before this so <laughs> maybe i didn't shuffle it that well but the card that came out was really relevant. Like all of the uh, readings I watched, my forecast has been really consistent. And when that card came out, I was like, okay, yeah, that's 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 it. And, and I think this one is also something that I needed to hear. So I don't know, it's a little mini reading for you guys. And let me just show you guys. Um, what these cards look like, kind of like laid out because I can't really show it to you guys right now, but you can definitely see like this artwork is super, like super unique and I just love it. And it's really, really representative of my day and my transition in LA. And I just love these cards so much. So I think they're really unique. So yeah, this is the Oracle deck that I picked up and it's called the Iris Oracle deck. And I just really love the artwork and I think that's what drew me to get it. I also have a collection. So if you wanna watch a video of all my tarot and Oracle decks, uh, leave a comment below and like this video and subscribe. I actually did make a video like previously, not previously, but like in the past, I made a video of all of the spiritual items I have and I showed all of the tarot cards. But if you want to see kind of like an updated version that specifically focused on my tarot card and oracle card collection or any spiritual collection, Again, just leave a comment down below. So the next thing that I got at the store, by the way, I totally forgot to tell you guys the store name, but it's called House of Intuition and it was just right on the Melrose district. So I came into the shop, not exactly knowing what I wanted, but I did ask my brother if he wanted something and he said a candle. So I picked up two candles one for me and one for the house. So the first one I got is Blessing. And this is the one that I got for the house. And I actually lit this up last night. Um, I just had it burning and there wasn't a very strong like, scent, which was a little bit disappointing, but um, to be expected, this is a magic candle not just like a regular overly scented um, house candle so um, the difference between magic candles and like these or i guess non-magic candles 
um, is that for this one, it's used for rituals. So it says here, you would create a sacred space with the prayer and, um, and then you will set your intentions for the outcome that you desire. Visualizing through meditation and then lighting the candle. And then you leave this candle burning until it goes out on its own. Um, and each day that you burn it, visualize the outcome you desire, let it burn and make sure to snuff it out and not to blow it out because if you blow it out, that is equivalent to canceling out a desire or a wish. So um, I don't, I, have, I just lit this, I didn't really do kind of like a full on ritual, like meditation and all that. Um, I might do that in the future, but not right now. My body is just, uh, it really needs to rest right now. It's not really in the right state to do all that ritual work. Um, but I I guess I'm gonna do, I, I guess I did like a little, um, how do you say it, like a non-physical kind of ritual. I was just, I would uh, visualize my outcome and light it up, but I wouldn't do like a whole like, anointing with oils, um, burning sage and all that stuff. But I still think it works and it's a very beautiful piece. It kind of gives me an autumn vibe, which is like a, um, which maybe signifies some kind of transition going on in my life. I don't know, I was just really drawn to, well, I was drawn to a lot of things, but I picked up this candle specifically, maybe because I, you know, maybe this is just a forecast of what's to come for me. But again, this is just a candle uh, for blessings. So it says that this aids in the blessings in all areas of your life, including physical health, emotional well-being, mental clarity, and spiritual connection. Hmm. And right when I looked at the camera, the time says 12:12. And 1222 so you know maybe some angel numbers going on and yeah um, I also picked up another candle that is actually burning on my desk so I'm not going to pick it up because it's really hot and um, dangerous if I just pick it up now but I'm going to show you guys a close-up of it and that candle is also similar to the blessings candle in that it has the same colors uh, the autumnal color scheme and I got it in road opener so I really wanted something to help me with this transition period um, because it is going a little bit uh, a little bit like a roller coaster ride you know um, like really high highs and really low lows um, I just been going through a very emotional period but it's like but it's a good kind of period. It's like the, um, you know, it's like right after this emotional roller coaster, I, you know, come out of it with more clarity and more knowledge, and I become more of the, I guess, ideal person that I want to be. So it's a good change, but the change is a little bit rough and uncomfortable right now. So I wanted something to kind of help like ease out some of the little crinkles and kinks here and there in my transitional period. Um, so I got road opener because I thought, you know, uh, that might help, you know, and this candle road opener is meant to kind of, you know, um, clear out the path, kind of like clear out the old and make way for the new and make way for opportunities that are great for the, my highest good. So um, yeah, I got that candle, not really knowing that it kind of matched with this, um, with the color scheme of this candle, but yeah, I have it lit right now and I'm probably gonna have it lit for the rest of the day until I snuff it out. Um, and that was basically it. I didn't get too many things. I wanted to get more, but my hands were already overfilling with things and I was on a 
um, I guess a schedule. I had a pottery class at one and so I wanted to make sure I had enough time to actually walk there. So I didn't really get that much, but if I ever come back to that area or if I live in a different area where I can be close to a metaphysical, metaphysical shop, I would definitely pick up more things like crystals because I really, really, I have like a list of crystals that I really want to get, but yeah, I don't know, for some reason I got an oracle deck and candles, but this oracle deck is something that I really want to pick up. Um, because I left mine back in the Bay Area, so I can't do like readings for you guys or for myself, and I've been really wanting to do that. So I'm super happy I picked up um, this Oracle deck. So, yeah. And that's it for this haul. It's really short, but I talk a lot, so it's probably longer than it should be. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, stay safe, and um, you know, don't give up on your dreams. Um, your goals are closer than you think, and um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or afternoon or evening, whenever you're watching this. I give you so much love and light, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Check out my taco shirt, my taco cat shirt. I got this like, I think I got this in Colorado with a friend. We're just like kind of shopping around at the mall. And uh, I have kind of like a cat shirt collection. So yeah, I kind of use it as like pajamas though and for loungewear cause I'm, yeah, I don't really wear this out in public but it's just, you know, just a chill shirt for chilling around, so yeah.